Let's play some music, shall we? All improvised, like a dance, really. Musicalorgasms.com. Let's make sure this thing is working. <laughs> Play the first track. This one's called Mystical Guitar in D minor. Let's try it out. Let's see D minor. <laughs>
dug that song, I'm not going to lie. Well, the one I played too, yeah, all of it. Thanks for the hearts, everyone. And a special thank you for those of you that have commented, because that is um, engagement, it's interaction. It's a human experience more so when you comment versus just looking. So a special thank you for those of you that are engaging. It makes it more interesting, right? Right. Okay, let's do another backing track. Um, Y'all seem to like it when I explain a little bit of what I'm doing for each song. So for that one, as always, uh, the uh, common thread with all my songs is I love vibrato. Uh, that wave when you make a note sing. Um, so my vibrato inspiration, if you've heard this before, I say it a lot, but for those of you that haven't, my vibrato inspiration does not really come from other guitar players. It comes from mostly violinists and some classical singers. And then there are some other guitar players that are inspired by those as well, and those are the, typically the guitar players that inspire me. So uh, it all sort of interconnects there. But that's where I get that from. And other things that I did on this song, I did a lot of just phrasing. I did a little bit of arpeggiated stuff, like, you know, this here. <laughs> That was a little sloppy, but you get the idea. I didn't do so much of that this time around. Sometimes I go off in the arpeggios, but this time it was just more random phrasing and just sort of flowing with what I felt. And this, I flowed a lot of the, just phrasing around the D minor idea and sometimes going to the relative. I said at the beginning of the song it was B flat minor, B flat major, no, it's um, F major is the relative major is the relative major. So I did a lot of phrasing around those things and just picking odd notes to phrase around, which was kind of cool. And the different target notes were mostly the relative Aeolian minor to the Ionian major relative notes. I didn't really get exotic on this particular song, like with Phrygian and some of those other modes. So let's go on to the next tune and see what I feel, see what happens. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Julie. This one's called Beautiful Chill in F sharp. They're not defining it, so by default, it must be major. Probably Ionian. So Beautiful Chill backing track in F sharp. That's a really weird key. For guitar players, it's a weird key. So F sharp, it's gonna be this here. I'm sorry, that was minor. F sharp major is this. Yeah, sure. And then the relative minor, which I'll probably toy around with, is going to be this. E flat. Wow, that is a really weird key to play on for a guitar player. So E flat minor is the relative to the F sharp major. So let's do that. Challenging me on this one. But it's chill. Let's go. All improvised. Oh, I love this one. I've heard it before. It's beautiful. I already know I'm going to do a lot of Ad 9 stuff because it's very melodic. It's going to be beautiful.
things and the dogs are like, I love it, Shell. That's cool.
Okay, so this is uh This is the final vote. Well, finally no. Alright, so and that last comment, holy cow. Anyway. Um lost my train of thought. Not really. So that last song, that's a song, I've done that one before. It's such a beautiful song. I love the melody, but it's a rare instance where I don't really know what to do with it. Like most song, almost every song, I can just fall right into a groove and it flows and it feels great. And that song I love so much. It's one of my favorites and I'm never satisfied with my performance on it. It's like there's something in me that I want to get out, but I can't discover what it is. And maybe one of these days I will. Who knows? But I, I love that piece. So I'll continue to do it and challenge myself with it. And it's not because of the key signature, though it is a very odd key for a guitar player. <sighs> God, that last comment. I'm... Oh, boy. Okay, next tune. Uh, what, what is next? Um, bah, 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 bah. This one is called Sad, Emo Sad Emotional Ballad in B minor. Not B flat minor, but B minor. So let's try it out, see what we can squeeze out of it. It's all about squeezing.
is so cool. That was a beautiful piece of music, and Debbie Judson, you chimed in just as that one was ending. But good news, I'm starting a new one right now. So what is the next track I will be doing? Um, this is going to be a piano piece. So I'm going to accompany a piano in A minor relative C major. So that's a pretty easy key, unlike some of the past keys I've done, which are exceedingly difficult. But before I do that one real quick, so that particular song that I just did, a lot of vibrato as I normally do, where you make the where I make the notes sing like so always killer vibrato. It's the most important thing to me. This one I spent a lot of time on the relative uh, Ionian major. What key was I just in? I don't even remember. But anyway, whatever the relative major was, I did a lot of time in that. And uh, much more arpeggiated stuff this time around as well. So I don't remember the key I was in. I just did it. That's so weird. Let's say I was in E minor. Then I did a lot of this kind of stuff. And a lot of uh, floating bridge stuff too, which is very expressive. And there's hardly any guitar players that do that. So that's kind of something that makes me stand out a bit interesting phrasing as well. Okay, so let's do this piano piece now because this is beautiful. I love accompanying piano. Let's see here. Ba, 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 ba. Here it is. Okay, here it goes.
veteran prosecutor, impartial defender of our freedoms. Dan Kelly, an extremist who fought against. compliments oh my god thank you thank you thank you um i think i'm gonna do just one more possibly more than one more but for sure one more because it's it's a lot of fun man it's a, it's a dance and i love dancing as you know well for those of you that know me at all you know i love dancing and this is another form of dance really improvisational creative music all right, let's see. Which one shall I do now? I don't know. Um, all right, I'm going to do this one. Here it goes, because I really love this tune. Thank you. 
All right, I believe that's going to be it for this evening. Thank you for being here. And a special thanks for those of you who engaged with comments, because that's what makes this really interesting. Otherwise, there's no point to a live performance if there's no engagement, right? I could just record a video and upload it. So thank you to everyone who engaged with me. Musicalorgasms.com is my website. I've got six original albums there and tons of improvisational music. So enjoy, and I'll see you see you later. Thank you so awesome of you to share your performance. Thank you, Shell. I appreciate it very, very much. Bye for now. Mwah.